<laughs> hello, hello everyone, it's Charlton. So, okay, let's, uh, uh, let me tell you more about the uh, theory that Trump and Hillary Clinton conspired to fix the 2016 election. And, uh, you know, this is what I believe. And obviously, if you don't want to believe it, because, you know, your Trump is your master, then, you know, whatever. I can't, I can't help that. It's not my problem. So, but this is, this is what I believe. And uh, I think people are in denial that are on the Trump side. So, um, but if you'll just, just, just listen to this, okay? So, the only, um, and I only noticed this because I happened to scroll through Hillary Clinton's uh, Twitter feed. And as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I made a big mistake saying that, um, you know, people were, that she had deleted her tweets from her pre pre presidential campaign and that, the, you know, other people involved in the, you know, Virginia lieutenant governor situation had done the same thing i was wrong about that i said i was wrong about that okay so uh, that's just the way twitter's um you know system works that after a certain time depending what settings you choose your tweets just don't show up anymore no big deal so but i did see and it's sort of planned i planted in my memory in fact i think i took a little picture of it just in case i wanted to use it as a thumbnail down the road because I knew I'd be talking about these topics and just to just for a mental note is uh, a picture of her and Andrew uh, Andrew Gillum Andrew Gillum who was the uh, mayor of Tallahassee which I believe is the capital of Florida but also was running for governor of, uh, of Florida and going into election day was a pretty heavy handily uh, favored in that race and it was quite a shock. It was quite a shock. Very similar to the 2016 election in general. That somehow, out of nowhere, once again, the polls were wrong. And Ron DeSantis met, ended up winning pretty, pretty nicely, you know. Um, and so did, uh, and so did um, the, the governor, the former governor, um, Scott, Rick Scott, against uh, Bill Nelson. For the uh, for the Senate seat, so but for the time being, I'm just focusing on the governor governor's race. But it's just crazy, okay? You know, Hillary didn't go anywhere else during the 2018. She tweeted a bunch of tweets, you know, you know, tweeting articles about the election, saying support secretaries of state and state legislatures and all these things, all these warm things. But they didn't. She didn't go anywhere else. The only place she went was Florida. The one state that the Democrats basically were winning handily in the polls, and somehow miraculously, the only state she goes to ends up turning out turning out the opposite of what the polls were, just like the presidential election. You know, obviously these things are not proof, but I just don't. I mean, if you don't see these things, I just don't know what to tell you, man. It's just so obvious to me. Why did she even go to Florida? I mean, why was she in Florida campaigning there and nowhere else? I mean, there were other states that were swing, you know, that were close races. And actually, this one wasn't even close. I mean, believe me, I'm telling you, I follow politics so closely. You know, even midterm elections that most people who just don't interested in this, they don't follow that stuff. But I do. And I'm Florida for me. Based on, you know, the things I was tracking and watching and just seeing it develop, watching the debates, you know. DeSantis struggled, man. He just did. He's not really that great of a politician. He may be a good guy or not. I have nothing against the guy. I actually kind of like him. But he was struggling. And Andrew Gillum was actually performing quite well. He just was. He was good on his feet and stuff like that. But somehow, you know, and he had him in the polls by like six points. Just like, uh, just like the general, dude. But again, and, and Hillary didn't go anywhere else. Nowhere else. She didn't even need to go here. Just saying. And, so, and just Trump seems to own this state. You know, I mean, he's, you know, not just because of, because of his, he has a business, you know, there, but he does. I mean, he's, you know, Rush Limbaugh's down here, everything. 
probably something else too, but you know, whatever. So that's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, you know, here's here's the uh, here's here's her Twitter feed. You could go through it if you want. There, she didn't go anywhere else but Florida. It's the only place. And actually, this is an article announcing it. Um, <clears throat> you know that she would be coming there. He announced it, Andrew Gilliam, and uh, that he was proud to have her. And he put it in one of his press releases. You know, it's funny too that I, I didn't. You know, it was here, and I look for the reason I look for this is because. You know, I don't think anyone knew she was going there. You know, other, you know, but there's, but this was out there because on her Twitter feed, it's nowhere to be seen. You know, until until the bomber. Remember the bomber, the guy who was the uh, sending sending fake bombs to all these people, sent them to sent them to Hillary and Bill. You know, but one of the bombs that got to her on the twenty fourth got to her home, and Bill was there. Bill was there, but she wasn't. She was here. She was in Florida. And that made news. And so they tracked them, you know, because they were in the news that day. They were like, well, the Clintons home, whatever, were they home? But Bill was, or he was, you know, in the area where they live, wherever that is, Chappaqua. But she wasn't. She was here. So, and that, then it became known that she was here. Even though, like I said, because that, because, because in her Twitter feed, it's not anywhere. But all of a sudden, after that date, it seemed like um, she started posting a lot about the midterm elections. There's the photo of her, and she she went and saw a congressional candidate too, who who won, and obviously Andrew Gillum lost. So, um, and the uh, the congresswoman won. I forget her name. But the key, the, the the important seat, the seat Trump wants, both is the Senate seat that can keep control in the Senate and the governor's, and the governor's seat, which um, you know is critical for 2020. But just so happens, you know, the one election where um, the Republicans are down by, you know, three, four, five points going into election day, miraculously, it flips in the other direction and the, and the Republican wins in the only state that Hillary visits, you know. So, but I don't, I don't know, I, you know what, I don't know. So here's the 25th. Before that. I mean, she's posting some stuff. I guess she is, you know. Yeah, she's posting info, but nothing about, you know. Then, then she she posts where she was. Everyone knew she was there. She was, you know, it was out in public, so it wasn't like a hidden thing. Just saying the bomber happened that day. You know, that's where the story is here. It's just pretty weird, man. It's pretty weird if you ask me. And I continue to believe that Trump and Hillary fixed the 2016 election. And uh, she lost it on purpose. And, um, you know, you'll have to surmise what their reasons are. They obviously can't be good. And they're probably financial in nature, but in my opinion, they're probably even worse. And that's the story there, man. Dude, it's so ridiculous, man. The hack is ridiculous. Why, why do they hack? They hack the DNC. They hack the DNC. And... John Podesta's email, which is separate from the DNC, happened to get hacked too. Somebody who's at pretty much the very tippy top, highest level of our sort of, you know, so called society. And I'm not saying he's better than you or me. I'm just saying he's at the high. I mean, he, he's been through several presidential elections. He was part of Obama's team. I think he's the reason Hillary probably ended up being Secretary of State. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if he's the one who talked Obama into keeping her on just because, you know, it's, uh, it's beneficial to just sort of, you know, play nice and do that and stuff, you know. Um, but the DNC gets hacked, you know. First, it doesn't, get, it doesn't even get exposed that it's hacked until she's already secured the election. They don't even start talking bad about Hillary and to Bernie until, until, until she's secured the nomination. Literally. They're not even saying bad things about him. Well, they, don't, they don't even need to anymore. She's already won. But they're just like, oh, you know, we should do this, we should do this, after she's already secured it. So that, you know, and then they're like, hey, WikiLeaks, look right here. You know, but at the same time, John Podesta's email, which isn't part of the DNC, you know, gets hacked. Then, after that, after that, Donna Brazil gets caught 
feeding her questions, you know, that surfaces. All feeding into this thing. The Trump's been saying since, you know, very early in the in the in the election cycle, it's all rigged. It's all rigged. It's so obvious, dude. And if you don't want to believe it, you just you don't want to believe it, you know. That's just all there is to it. I could go on and on. I could go on and on and I will. Alright, that's the story there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.